effects. Coming at you here on a Wednesday. It's 29 April. FOMC tonight. Also US GDP. For those who like scary movies and bad news and shock and awe. That'll be fun. Consensus consensus ugh, consensus is for I don't know around minus eight percent. Uh well between minus eight and minus twelve percent, so it's some somewhere somewhere unbelievable. US GDP. Just think about it for a second. The entire uh premise, the entire reason reason d'etre, the reason for existence for the United States is growth. Everything is based on what you would call uh I don't know, the idea that there needs to be growth every year, five, six, seven. Some pension funds, you know, are looking for eight percent returns in order to match up with liabilities. But it's not only just matching up with liabilities, it's just when there's no growth in America, things go horribly wrong at every level of society. Um, and so this is uh, once in a blue moon time, I guess, I hope. Um, you won't see minus 10% out of the U.S. But I do think, uh, while I'm on this tangent, I do think people are under underestimating the damage um, that even one or two or three quarters of this kind of growth will do. Those of you who have studied math past the fifth grade um, will know what this will do to your averages, what this will do to the continuity of meaningful growth over a five-year period. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's have a look at currencies here. Euro back uh, back higher. The dollar's getting sold overnight. Some fucked up shit at um, at the fix yesterday, right? Should have been a dollar sale, but it turned out to be kind of a dollar buy. Um, we took a little journey down to one hundred eight seventeen. Made no sense. Um, not really sure what was going on there, but you know the point is funky stuff is going on here. Month end rebalancing, rejigging. You know, the global money system is trying to rebalance after some cr a crazy month, right? U.S. equities are up 11 percent, so there should be money should be moving away from the U.S. into stock markets that are up less than 11 percent. If you believe uh, this is how it works. Um, Anyway, should be uh, pressure on the dollar at month end, but we'll see. Yesterday, there certainly was not at the uh, during the fixed period. Uh, the dollars were bought. Anyway, we're back at uh, 108.50. Not much to do here. Um, the bar yesterday is bearish, right? But it's not really confirmed bearish until we get below 10. I don't think we're going to get below 10. We're looking for a very, very quiet range today. Um, GDP and FOMC tonight. And, uh, you know, I guess the fix will create some some waves, but we'll see. Cable also bearish bar yesterday. We traded up to 125.13. Not sure what to do with that. Dollar Swiss, uh, I would say neutral bar yesterday. Some funny business in Euro Swiss. Traded up to 106. Oh five. Um, hope you all sold up there in the nineties. We talked about it on Twitter. I think it's down in the fifties now. But um, the Euro Swiss kept Dollar Swiss from doing too much. Doji, that's indecision. Do we get through uh, ninety-seven eighteen and start meaningfully heading lower today? Maybe. I'm. You know. That's our base case, so everyone knows we like to be short dollar Swiss, so short dollar Swiss going forward. Dollar yen finally broke, uh, 97 was the bingo number yesterday. We were joking around a bit, 
uh, between figure and 10. We traded back up to 97 at the fix, just to fuck with people. 106.971, um, and now we're at 55. Looks like a slow death march to 101 uh, is in play here. Dollar yen looks offered. Don't want to hit low ones now. This is a tradable short. So you would buy on a stretch hourly low, and then you would resell to make your undoubtedly 95 average uh, go to 0, 05, 10, 15. Um, the safety, the real safe point is 107.40 on this. You can't really put your stop at 107.40 until your average is at 107.40 because you can't risk 50 points unless you're going to make 500. And I guarantee you 99.978% uh, of you will never sit with this for 500. Um, so keep your risk reward ratios in mind even while you're in the position. Euro yen tipping made kind of a new low. This monthly bar in Euro yen is quite interesting, right? We had a doji last month and now this month are we going to revisit 10950? Are we going to revisit 94 and a quarter? That would be odd. That's euro blow up if we go down there. But anyway, euro yen looks bad. Not sure why. Uh, we do have ECB tomorrow, so um, we have no positions in euro yen. Sterling yen, every day we try and get short um, with very little success recently. A lot of, a lot of scratched trades at good prices. Frustrating. I think we might just wait. Push the chips in through one one thirty one eighty eight. Um, sterling yen also looks offered, less so than euro yen, but it does look offered. Aussie climbing bid one two three four five six. Uh, we're sellers of Aussie today. We're going to sell it up towards the sixty five eighty. In the news flow today, Australia is fucking around with China. They're doing an investigation as to how COVID-19 started. You don't really want to kick the hornet's nest like that. If I'm Australia, this is about the last time on earth I want to kick that uh, kick that donkey. Um, so that's not great news, I think, for Aussie. Looks a bit stretched now. I know Aussie Australia is the first ones going back, and this has been a good trade on the long side. Um, but we will be getting short Aussie today somewhere, I don't know, between 40 and 80. It's sort of a watch and wait. We do have to navigate FOMC tonight. So this is a tentative idea. Dollar Czar, uh, Czar is actually appreciated for a few days. It's like the lottery ticket for that country. Um, any chance you can get to sell uh, Czar, you kind of want to take it. They are they are broken at a level that it's astonishing. Um, we haven't been trading it much recently. Maybe this 1840 level, between 1840 and 18 handle, you want to buy some dollar Czar. Um, anyway, uh, Euro Swiss, why did we trade up to uh, 106.13? Nobody knows. Just stops, I guess. There were some dollar Swiss stops. But uh, back heading towards um, towards D-Day, which is this 105.10 level, kind of line in the sand level for the SMB now. This is just a sell-on rally until further notice. You know, there's the 700 billion dollar gorilla in the room uh, SMB's long you could approximate it but 600 700 billion euro Swiss um, until that gets resolved euro Swiss won't go higher uh, that's our view Aussie can't wait to sell this at 70 cents um, it'll probably get up there in a hectic moment and no one will be watching if it's a slow grinder up there, it'll be less. It'll be less good of a fade, if you know what I mean. 
you want it to be kind of like a surprise attack, bang, everyone's watching, I don't know, equities, but we think this is a conviction sell up uh, 70, the figure to 70, sort of 30. What else is out there? No idea, dollar CAD. Um, should go, dollar should go lower against the CAD. Um, gold, really hard. Went down to 04 yesterday. That, that, that'll clear out your sinuses a bit. Um, if you were long, if you're a tentative long, now it's like a nice pivot at, at 1703. You want to be long gold. How to get long gold is 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 beyond me. Uh, dollar Norway, that old chestnut, uh, just doing what it should be doing, going lower. Now we've had three four days of red. We like this consolidation area here, 1010. 10. 1080 sounds like two radio stations this is privateer fx on 1010 fm um but we for your tactical book we consider this consolidation area stay short on your on your trend book but your tactical book if you are short here we've taken our shorts back uh, we were looking to resell this on the tactical side this makes sense to take your shorts back here, some somewhere between 1040 and 1010. Um, dollar Norway. So what are we sinking our, sinking our teeth into here? Not too much at the open specifically. Uh, we're going to try and sell high ones in Aussie. Let's take a look at that uh, equity market. We sold those O3s yesterday. Watched it trade down to, to 55. Um, that was our tactical book. We're square again, tactical book. We will sell again today, uh, tactically. We are core short uh, in the trend book. So, I don't know. I just want to sell high ones today. There will be stops now um, above 29.12. Gravestone Doji yesterday. Most people would say this is bearish, but it's really just indecisive. It's not as bearish as people think. It's only bearish if we get below 29.50. Um, we think what's likely to happen is you're going to stop out some of yesterday's shorts through 29.13.50. Uh, you're going to go into Powell, who historically is really bad for stocks, his delivery mechanism, um, or I guess pie hole, as some people like to say, um, isn't that great economic as far as uh, economic delivery um, and we think like there's a likelihood stocks will go down when he's babbling speaking of babbling I'm babbling it's now 13 minutes not much to do with the open today like I said we're going to be selling high ones in Aussie selling high ones in ES uh, that's about it if you're core short dollar yen stick with it um, core short Dollar Swiss, Dollar Norway, same, same as. Uh, but the tactical book, we're just going to focus on Aussie and stocks today. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.